It is official. J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon, he has joined the Billionaires Club. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, he, his work at Citigroup and J.P. Morgan Chase has made him a cool $1.1 billion. Few bank managers accumulate that much wealth. So how did Mr. Dimon do it? Bloomberg News Managing Editor Matt G. Miller is here, and Steve Ratner is still joining us. Matt? He didn't win it in Vegas. No, he did not. And what's really great about this story and what's unique about this story is that you never really see on Wall Street bank CEOs becoming billionaires. What you see is the founders of hedge funds, founders of private equity firms, your David Teppers, your Steve Schwartzman, your Steve Cohens. Um, aside from Sandy Weil, Jimmy Kane had a billion dollars in Bear Stearns. He lost it. Um, but we really don't see a lot of bank CEOs actually crest the one billion CEOs dollars. in general? CEOs in general really don't. Now, CEO founders... That's still different. That's different. That's different, different. Right? Okay, but Steve Ballmer would be the unique example. He was in of point number 30. That's right, Microsoft. but he was not he, a founder. But, true, but so he if, built you, that if you went through the Bloomberg Billionaires Index and you tried to check off all the CEOs uh, who aren't founders, you wouldn't find many of them. It's an extremely rare. Firm. All right, then how do you do it? Uh, well, he basically went in there he, and he through banks and consolidation. I mean, everybody knows the story of, of him and Sandy Weil and the, the building of Citigroup uh, and then leaving for Bank One and then going J.P. Morgan. He really has been able to stick it out. And J.P. Morgan is up 110 percent with dividends uh, since he became CEO in 2005. I didn't get quite enough of a kick at the can of this when we talked about it last hour. So I want to go back to Steve <laughs> with this question about the professional class. People's eyes would fall out of their heads if they saw a lawyer or a doctor or an accountant become a billionaire strictly on the basis of the business that he or she might do alone. Once upon a time, and I'm rewinding the clock maybe 50 years, people thought of corporate managers in the same way that they thought of other professionals. They don't any longer. And they don't, certainly corporate managers don't get compensated the way that doctors What's and What's a corporate manager? Are. Like a CEO, a CEO yeah. right? Somebody in the corner office. No, as, I, as I've said, I think CEO pay in general has gotten out of control. There's no question about that. And when you look at the ratio between CEO pay, worker pay, the rate of increase, anything you want to look at. I do think Jamie is a little bit of an exception. As I was listening to Matt, he is a little bit of a founder. He joined Sandy Weil when there were two guys sitting in, you know, above a store in Baltimore starting commercial credit. That's true. So I think he does get some credit for that. And I think that if you looked at uh, some of the CEOs of Goldman Sachs, Hank Paulson, uh, Lloyd Blank, fine. If they're not billionaires, they're pretty close. So he's not completely alone up at that level. And had Hank Paulson not oh, cashed sure. in his stock to join the Treasury Department when Lloyd became CEO, he almost certainly would be a billionaire. There's no doubt he would be a billionaire today. And Lloyd Blank, fine. If he's not a billionaire, but when he cashed his stock, very... what is it? He didn't have to pay, taxes, have to pay taxes on it. So on like, it. don't That's cry right. for me, Argentina. You only have That's to right. not pay. I know about this because I was in the government. You only get to not pay taxes once. In other words, you can take the stock and put it in an index fund or something. But then when you sell that, then you, you pay have to Okay, well, guess what? So once, it's, like, it's still better than zero. It's better than zero. <laughs> like a 401k, in other words. Uh, yeah, essentially. So a lot of this, I mean, the source of Jamie's wealth is largely stock. And this takes us back to this argument that these profs, right, and Jensen and Mecklen made in 1976. Is the best way to run a company, is the best way to uh, have my mic is uh, apparently bad. You know bad. what? Eric has a bad microphone, so I'm going to mind meld and think what his <laughs> question must have been. It's all about incentivize. Is that the right way? Do you need to incentivize? See, like, I'm still astounded by this argument that you need to incentivize these people to do the job that they were hired to do. Everybody why, else why just gets paid. But, but why do you say well, that? Not, everybody yeah. else doesn't just get paid. The people below Jamie, the people uh, down the ranks at Goldman Sachs, they also have a lot of stock, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of, they have a lot of stock, they have a lot of uh, equity linked types of, of compensation and I think that's good. That's what you want. You want alignment. I mean, hold on, Eric, do you think they should? I mean, incentive pay keeps people fired up. I mean, it's sort of the opposite of when incentive people get paid. Incentive pay hold on, when at people... the same time also breeds some of the worst behavior that we have seen, not just in financial services, but elsewhere, right? But it's so do people who get paid on a contract. They work as soon as you, as soon as, you, as soon as people sign a contract and they know what they're going to be paid for the next few years, they can sit back and they say, well, I know what I'm getting December 31st. If there's incentive pay, you are racing around that track because you want to get paid at the end of the year. I think Stephanie has incentive pay. <laughs> Matt Miller, I like to incentive you. Pay. I, I, I would say that there's both arguments, that you can have incentive pay because you want CEOs to be looking at the interests of the shareholders because the 
shareholders. We all own all these companies through our 401ks and through our index funds anyway, so you need to incentivize them. But whether it's a $20 million stock package or cash package, it doesn't really matter. These pay, people are paid a lot of money.